Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 11th. So, you know, the timing is fluid. This reading is just being done for the 11th, but, you know, it doesn't mean that it's going to resonate on the 11th. This could resonate, you know, today, tomorrow, the next day. Just fell out. The Empress. So, the Empress just fell out. So, the Empress is a domestic goddess, right? She is. She's a domestic goddess. She is a mother. She's very caring, gentle, kind, generous, beautiful. Mm. It looks to me as though she's very graceful. She's just... This is an individual who has multiple options. She has options. She's comfortable. She has, I mean, this. there's luxuries here. This is about comfort. She's, she offers comfort. She likes comfort. Um, very comfortable with who she is. So we have an, an, an empress that is very comfortable. Looks like she's waiting for something or she's observing something. You know, I almost feel, and it's interesting because right before this is the high priestess. It's a high priestess energy. Okay, she's very intuitive. She has a lot of life experience. She's observing somebody's actions. So we have an empress that knows her value. She's self-sufficient. She's already been the high priestess, right? She's she's uh, awakened. She's very awakened. She knows she has options. She's beautiful. Interesting. Very comfortable with who she is. She's observing something. It's all, It feels like... She's about ready to say something, too, because... I feel like she's ready to, she's getting ready to speak up. Right now, it's just a time of observation. She's observing. I know that's what's going on here. She's like, hmm. You know, oh, we got another flipper. Boy, they're just, ooh, 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 ooh. So this is, this is an individual that has fought. This is a warrior headed towards the empress. This could be somebody in the military. This is an individual that or has been in the military. This is an individual that, and he has a stern look on his face. If you notice, he looks very stern. So, he does. So this person is stern. They are very, um, looks like this person is noble, probably a protector. She's beautiful, has multiple options, is, is observing a situation. This person is coming forward headed because the sixes are taking a journey towards balance and harmony. So we have an individual that is either traveling towards this empress. This empress is very loving. Okay, this is a mother. This is somebody who is mothering, nurturing, caring, takes very good care of whoever she um, deals with. She's unconditional love. Okay, it's a mother's love. It's that type of love that it's a very loving individual. This person is headed towards this empress. Could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, could be anybody that is, this is a very um, fertile individual, um, very generous, very abundant as well. Very receptive of energies. Um, this person is headed towards the empress, but this person is a fighter. Oh, yes, this person is a fighter. Interesting. Oh, 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 oh. Eee. The tower reversed. Now, this is the tower reversed is extremes. There could be a fight. And because he's a fighter, she's experienced. She has life experience. She's gentle and kind, but she's not somebody to mess with. She's not. So this is this could be a fight, a painful change, something you never saw coming. This is an extreme upheaval. 
So I'm not sure what is going on. This could be um, something not getting off the ground failing to launch this guy has a stern look on his face he's very protective um he's battled he's already battled he's he's definitely a fighter she's gentle so we definitely have contrast here um major upheaval like this is now this is a this could be a permanent loss of some sort this guy may be looking at some sort of loss She's observing the situation. He may be too um, dysfunctional. I'm not sure what is going on because this is dysfunctional. Interesting. Ah, oh, thinking about it. She's thinking about it. Should Whether she should invest in this or not. Should she invest in this? Is it worth it? Is it worth building a foundation with this person? Because this is needing to build a new foundation. Okay. So we have an empress that is very comfortable, that has multiple options. She does. Thinking about whether she wants to invest, whether it's worth it. Is it worth it? Is it worth investing in this person who um, may be disruptive? Because this is disruption. It is. This could be major disruption or extremely disruptive. This is extremes and reversed. Okay, extremely disruptive. Um, I'm wondering if there's going to be a fight or there has been a fight that is making somebody think if, whether this is worth it or not. There's obviously been some sort of disruption. This guy looks angry. He does. He looks angry or he looks very scorned or hard. He looks hard. She's thinking about whether she should invest in building a foundation. Ooh, -hoo. well, I could have told you that. Um, absolutely, a lot of re lot of uh, feeling, you know, and using intuition. This person is. We have a a, fem a female, a feminine here, that is thinking really long and hard and observing definitely observing um, a person's actions because this is actions so uh, their gut is telling them that there may be some sort of dysfunction so something is going on here where we we have one individual that is, is highly awakened has a lot of life experience is very comfortable by themselves doesn't need anybody to take care of them somebody has entered the scene and now this uh, intuitive uh, domestic female is thinking whether she should invest in building a foundation. Ooh, King of Pentacles. And Five of Swords came out together. And we'll do it like this because that's how they came out. So we may have an individual here that is only looking for financial gain. They're looking, you know, only out for themselves. All they care about is financial stability. And maybe that's what she's thinking. She's definitely thinking, keeping to herself, observing this situation. Is it just for money? And I think, is it just for stability? If you're thinking, if you're asking yourself that question, it probably is. This is a false sense of security. Okay, it's a false foundation. And it could be extremely false. And somebody's intuition may be telling them, you know, you really need to think about this. Whoever you're dealing with may be a fighter. They may be, you know, very hard, or whatever. Um, this is this is a, extremely egotistical, wants to win at all cost. I think that there's some sort of power struggles here between a masculine and a feminine who, you know, it looks like we have a masculine that is very... Um, focused on their money foc or focused on money, focused on stability, focused on themselves by the looks of these two cards. This is a person that is only looking out for themselves and they don't care who they hurt. And it does have to do with financial gain. And perhaps somebody's intuition has been telling them that. And, you know, they're, they're thinking, is it, is, is this just about the money? Is it, is it, um, now, this is somebody walking away from an egotistical individual, okay? This person 
wants to win at all costs. They won't listen. This person thinks that they have won is very, very smug. Very smug. I think this is a know-it-all. This is a know-it-all. So we have an individual that is just looking. I feel like they're just looking for money. They're just looking for money, which is interesting. Um, hmm. There could be some sort of abuse here, okay, with this Five of Swords. Somebody may be trying, abusing their power or saying things that, you know, they say, this is a know-it-all. This is a know-it-all here. Mm. Now, this is uh, seeing the truth. It is seeing the truth. We have an individual that is about to see the truth or they're going to start to see the truth about who they're dealing with. The truth is going to come out. Some There's going to be some sort of exposure here. Somebody has been able to uh, hide their, their truth, hide who they are, you know, hold it inside, but they're not going to be able to. And it's going to give this high priestess the information that she needs. She's going to see it all. This is seeing the truth. So we have an individual that is going to see the truth about whoever they're dealing with. Something is going to happen. It's going to be it's going to be big with that tower card. It's going to be big. It's going to be a big like it's a disaster waiting to happen. And perhaps this high priestess knows it. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Now, there's 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 somebody here that is that is lying. They're not telling the truth. There's an individual that is being dishonest. They don't want to be held accountable for their actions. And there, it feels like there could be an argument where there's no resolution in sight. We have a very highly intuitive individual here that is feeling that somebody is not telling the truth. She knows it. I think that she knows it. There's something going on here. And it's it's not real. It's not stable. It's not secure. I think we there could be some mental health issues as well. I feel like we have an individual that has been wounded because this guy has been through some sort of battle, which has made him cold. It's it's it has. You can tell by the look on his face. So we have an individual that has turned cold. They're very, you know, militarian per se. Um, so now the the feminine is thinking, should I should I invest in this? There's going to be an event that causes chaos, and it could be it could it could cause somebody to get thrown out. Um, this person wants to win at all costs, is only looking out for themselves. They think that they are they are very very smug. This individual is a show off, boastful, loud, very very loud. Only looking out for money, looking for stability, looking for financial stability. And she knows it. Huh. I think this individual has some anxiety, has some... Uh, men or some blockages... Resentment. I think this person has some resentment. Five of Pentacles reversed. A turning point of some sort. An unhealthy relationship. This is this is unhealthy relationship being disgraced. no growth something going south not growing something isn't going to grow it's not there's no desire there's no attraction somebody may be losing their desire to invest in an individual that doesn't have anything to offer because of a, an event that causes chaos it could be in the home
somebody is going to be walking away. You want to fight all the time. You want to battle all the time. You have to win at all costs. You are a show off. You are loud. I'm going to hold on to my money. I'm going to hold on to my stability. This is somebody that is very practical, very responsible, very realistic. I think we have, this is like, we have a smug little POS that is after somebody's money. That's all they care about. But this is not getting it. Not happening. Seeing the truth. The high priestess is under here. We have a very intuitive individual that is about to see the truth about whoever it is that they're dealing with. That it's not worth investing in an individual that is angry. Oh yeah. Knight of Pentacles reverse. This is a sponger. We have a sponger here. Somebody is unhealthy. Not qualified. Inflexible. Has no long-term plan or doesn't have anything stable or solid to offer. This is an individual that is lazy. Irresponsible and unfaithful. And I think we have an... <laughs> Feminine Empress High Priestess that knows that they have other options. Anyway, I feel as though uh, somebody is headed for a fall. I think there's going to be a disappointment. I think there's going to be a disappointment because somebody may have leapt into something without thinking. But I think that they're about to realize that they made a big mistake. Anyway, be prepared for, I think it's a fight. And I think it's a big one. This is a big, huge fight. With an individual that wants to win at all costs, this person is, is uh, loud, boastful, um, belittles, is condescending is only looking out for stability, money, is only there for that because there's no love in these cards other than the Empress. She is all about love. She's observing. She is about to see something with that, see something that makes her think, should I continue to invest in this false sense of security? I think that What's the Empress going to do? What is the Empress going to do? Ah. She's about to take a risk. She's about to step it. She's about to freedom. Freedom. Break free. She's about to leave it behind. The Empress is about to leave it behind. She's about to break free. She's about to uh, let it go. Start over, go someplace else, step into new territory, start fresh, start with a clean slate. So I feel like we have an empress that is about to uh, basically say goodbye because the fool starts a new journey with none of that. None of it. Not going to fight. Not going to play games. She's not. She's not going to play games at all. Now there could be a solution. Somebody may find a solution with that five of wands reversed. Somebody may find a solution and the solution is I'm not playing this game. Going my own way. This is going my own way. By myself. The high priestess is very uh, self-sufficient. Often chooses to be single. Doesn't need. The empress doesn't need either. Don't need this 
battle. I don't need this upheaval. I don't need to fight with you. So I do feel as though we have a fight, a fight, we have a fight here that causes a feminine to say or to see that it's time to go someplace else. So be prepared for that fight. Good luck.